This is a tutorial on filtration and crystallisation. Filtration is the process that we can use to separate insoluble solids from the liquids that they are in a mixture with. And remember, to be insoluble means that they do not dissolve. Okay, so as we can see here down in the diagram, we've got lots of uh, small chunks of our insoluble solid mixed in with the liquid, probably water in this case. And we can separate these two out, so separate the solid from the liquid, by using the process of filtration. And to do filtration, the, the mixture of the insoluble solid and the liquid is poured through this um, experimental setup over here. And that involves a filter paper, which is a paper with very, very fine holes in it. And the filter paper is sitting just inside a filter funnel. And a beaker is always put underneath to, to catch anything that comes through. And like I said, the insoluble solid and its liquid mixture are poured through the filter paper. Now, the, the liquid, the solvent, and any soluble substances that may be found in this mixture, they pass through those tiny holes in the filter paper, no problem. And they drip through the bottom into the beaker and form something called the filtrate. Okay. Um, however, any any large chunks of insoluble solids, so do not dissolve, they can't pass through those little holes in the filter paper, they're too big, so they are stopped and they get left behind on the filter paper. And when they are left behind, that's called the residue. And that is filtration, how we can separate an insoluble solid from its liquid. The second process that we need to know about is crystallization, okay? And that's how we can separate the different components of a solution. Now, just as a really quick reminder, a solution is a, is a mixture where we have a solvent. Um, so this is a liquid, usually water or alcohol. So a solvent, which is the liquid, and then mixed into the solvent, we've got the solute and this is soluble so it does dissolve and really good examples of solutes are um, sugar and salt um, and copper sulfate which is something that we're going to look at in, in the next slide. Um, so this is the solute, it is dissolved within the solvent and when we put those two together we form a solution. And we need to know how to separate the solvent from the solute in a solution. And we can use crystallization to do that. Now, crystallization, its definition is the evaporating of the solvent, the liquid part, to leave the solute, the solid part, behind. Now, this diagram here is a really good one because it shows exactly how to set this up in a lab. So we would have a china evaporating dish and into there we're going to put the solution. In this case, a copper sulfate solution where we've got copper sulfate, which is the, the solute, dissolved into, it can be into water or alcohol. And what we do is we heat using a Bunsen burner. Um, we can heat the china dish directly or, which is often safer, we can heat a beaker of water to boil it and that passes on the heat to the china dish. Now this heating here um, causes the liquid part, the solvent, to evaporate, turning into a gas and leaving the dish. What happens then is what is left behind are copper sulfate crystals. Copper sulfate being the solute, the solid. So we're going to evaporate off the solvent. It's going to leave the beaker, leaving the copper sulfate behind. Okay, and these are copper sulfate crystals. And a little note that I've put onto here suggests that when this process is carried out slowly, so there's slow heating, very large crystals of copper sulfate can be formed. 
Um, however, if the heating is done very, very quickly, so the opposite of slow heating, much smaller crystals would be formed here in the evaporating dish. Um, so that has recapped uh, filtration and crystallization. Thank you very much. I hope it helps.